This is Crypto Core Radio, discussing the ideas, people, and projects building the new digital economy. Get the latest on blockchain technology and cryptocurrency updates with your host, Lutz. So, you know, lately we've been doing a lot of these ICO judgment shows. Uh, you know that even if some of them don't sound good, you know that's that's your your judgment. It's all up to you. I, I leave the judging to you. Uh, I just ask the questions. So, you could weed out whichever ones you feel you don't want to invest in, and that's what this the whole point of the show is. Yeah, uh, we go to uh, you could go to wavesico.com and. You can see all the categories from which I asked the questions for, you know, for investing purposes. You know, if you scroll down towards the middle, you'll see the categories I ask questions from. Uh, and then I ask my own questions, too. And, you know, I get a little inquisitive about what's going on, right? All right. You find the, the button, Fosky, that you assigned? I guess a lot of people aren't gamers. Uh, this is this is common practice if you're a gamer, you know, talking on uh, Ventrilo or team speak someone says when can we expect waves to boom well it's gonna boom i mean we've seen it at close to 300k so yeah can i can i just use the continuous, continuous sure man continuous. sure oh, man okay. no problem I'll, I'll just edit out the static as best possible afterwards okay. all right let's try this again hello and welcome to core radio this is lutz coming to you live from new york city and uh, we have a cross coin on uh Hello, uh, we have Fosky from CrossCoin. Are you the, the, the developer, the, the owner? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I'm the founder of CrossCoin and uh, the developer of CrossCoin also, but I also have a team of people who are working with me from around the world. Okay, uh, tell us tell us about about you and your team from the underworld. Yeah, so um, my real name is Fosai Godaro. That's my, uh, my real name. And uh, I came to, to then, I came to US in 2008, and um, after I completed my bachelor's in biochemistry from Nigeria, and I came to I came with my family over here, and we've been here since then. And I, that's when I took I mean I I taken interest in finance in in you know Nigeria back home, and then I came here, and I studied the financial markets, and I taught myself how to trade currencies and other instruments. And then I just studied, and you know, right now I'm doing uh, I'm doing an IT program to be an Oracle database administrator, and I'll be done in October. So I know some SQL, I know some database stuff, and uh, um, you know, I know some yep, yep. IT stuff. Yeah, so I know a little bit about I I know a little bit about IT stuff. I used to be in that world. Uh, I was yeah. a network administrator at one point for a very large company. And, uh, you know, I got my CNA, I got my uh, CCNA, I got, uh, I have uh, my, uh, what's that, what's that one, the business management one, I forgot the name of it, but I got a whole bunch of certifications that I don't use at all. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about the team. Yes, yeah, so the team is um, basically um, two of my friends and I decided to start CrossCoin. And um, they're actually non-tech people. They are two ladies, and um, so but they are traders. They trade currencies and everything, you know. So we have this. So we're friends. And then we decided to start Crosscoin, and then we added some people later on. Um, a developer from Russia, a developer from Netherlands, and our website guys from India. So that makes us out um, six of us now. So basically, very nice. Yeah, so I, I I I lead the team, I lead the vision, I you know lead the whole direction of the team, and then I have wonderful people who are working with me, um, Jacob Antono is from Russia and uh, Rob Smith is from Netherlands, and I have Hadik Sivani is from India, and then cool. my ha two Hadik, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, then I have two other so the two ladies who actually so now the two ladies who actually funded it with me are. Uh, um, Patricia from UK and um, Nadine from she's in New York actually, but she's from France. Yeah. 
Very cool, native New Yorker. So, at yeah. this point, um, what the, these people working for you? How do you guys communicate? Uh, you know, do you use a Slack? Yes, so, yeah, so we use Skype to communicate, and uh, basically Skype. But right now we are doing, we are going at a very um, advanced rate. Right now we are doing, we, we are about to start on a very, very complex and high, highly innovative project. So um, we are beginning to make plans for Jacob to join us in the United States because we are we're trying to, you know, get everything, you know, local. So we want Jacob to be in America so we can have an office and we can operate from there. Okay, very cool. Uh, do you? So let's go to tangibility. So what actually, why don't you tell us what your project is all about? I have no idea. All right. So now CrossCoin is development project, a development company. So what we're interested in doing is disrupting industries, creating and releasing innovative products across several industries. So whatever thing we can make better, we can make more efficient we'll put our hands into it and we'll make a wonderful product out of it so right now we are we are we are doing um two products right now there are many one to come but the first one is ribbon um you must have heard me talk about ribbon on the slack ribbon is a messaging app a gifting app and we're going to add one business tool to ribbon to make it kind of like an all-around app so you can actually communicate and gift and you know, send love, send tokens to each other. And also, you can actually do a business, a particular business activity, which I won't mention right now on Ribbon. So um, that will make it stand aside from other messaging apps out there. So we want just products that people can use around the world, like 1 million users around the world, millions of users, we want to compete with the, um, the messaging apps that, that, that are known right now, like WhatsApp and, and uh, WeChat. So Ribbon is going to be um, an, you know, an app that will stand alone from those other apps. Then the other one is PeepDroid. PeepDroid is a cloud service for traders. So you don't have to log into your trading platform with your laptop anymore. You just use PeepDroid to log in and do your automated trading there. So that is, uh, so PeepDroid um, right now is for MetaTrader 5 which is a Forex platform, and it's going to have 20 brokers connected to it. So you can log in to, you know, log in, you know, go to the broker website, create your account there, come on PeepDroid app, log in, and start trading with your robots. You can use our robots or you can upload yours. So um, there's going to be a PeepDroid for cryptocurrency exchanges. So that's what we're, we're going to develop next. Right now, PeepDroid is ready, but we're getting it perfect for testers to use. So because our server can only do so much, so we're just going to have only 15 testers. And then after that, we're going to expand the PeepDroid to, um, you know, to either we expand, I mean, we actually plan to go ahead and start the PeepDroid for the cryptocurrency exchanges. So PeepDroid, okay, so I've heard this before. Let me break you right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So PeepDroid, so this coin is, is a messaging type of coin. I'm just trying, I, I want to get the concept okay. down. Yeah, so there are many, so yeah, so it's, what does it do? It, it messages? Who? Which one? Cross coin? The coin. Yeah. What does the cross yeah, coin so the do? Coin, so the coin itself is going to run on those products. The coin is going to be the currency that will be used as payments on those products. You know? So, and then we're going to have many use of cross coin also. We're going to have an e-commerce platform where people can trade and, you know, cross going to be the fees on those, on that. And, in, in, and, and we, it's kind of possible for us to have our own exchange also. Yeah. Cross will be the currency on every product. Okay, wait. Let, let's let's uh let's back up one thing at a time. So what yeah. what kind of products are we talking so, about? Exactly. So, Crosscoin as a project is going to have several kind of products across several industries. You know, just imagine how Google is right now. So we're going to have products like I mentioned, Reborn, which will be ready very soon. I mentioned PeepDroid. So these are two separate pro um, two separate products. One is a fintech, one is a messaging app, social app. So we're going to have several products touching some industries, and Crosscoin is going to be the currency that will be used as fees to receive payments to use those services to use those products. We're going to pay Crosscoin. Well, I, I have to ask, why, why not use an already existing coin to get the job done, like uh, Incent or? Uh... I mean, are, are, why not just use Bitcoin? What's the difference? 
Yeah, so I mean, we want to use Crosscoin because um, that's that's the, name of, that's the name of the project, and and we might use other other coins, you know, in you know, in conjunction with Crosscoin. But Crosscoin is going to be one of the co uh, coins, or even maybe the only currency to be used there because we just want to have, you know, the use for Crosscoin on those on those products, you know. So um, so as we go further, we'll, we'll find you know more program uh, one more you know uh, use of Crosscoin in a programmatic way. Instead of just as a currency, so as we go forward, we're going to actually have that, especially on the on the on the, on the new pip droid, which will be work, which will be a crypto pip droid. You know, that's pip droid for a, a trading platform that lets you trade across several exchanges at the same time. You know, I see. So, so yeah. pip droid is an app. It's like an yes. exchange app. Exactly. Yeah. So pip droid. So, so the pip droid that we have right now for method because. That's why I call it PibDroid series, you know. So PibDroid for MetaTrader Five is for forex traders on using MetaTrader Five platform. That's one that's ready right now. We're just going to get it um, to testers' hands in a, in a few days, and then we're going to develop PibDroid for crypto. Um, I call it PibDroid X for now. It might it might still have the same name PibDroid, or it might have a different name later on. But PibDroid X is is is, is a one trading platform that will let you trade across. Several exchanges, Bitrex, Ubit, Cryptopia, from one platform, you trade across all exchanges at the same time. You know, so that is going to be a web, a web platform at first, and then we'll go into mobile, and then we'll add the uh, algorithm to it later. On. But the PibDroid for MetaTrader Five or uh, is it is an is an algorithm trader. So I don't know if you're conversant with the World Expert Advisors. Um, it's a very common word in the forex world. Its um, shorting name is EA. So it's just your trade robot that you launch to execute trades for you. Whatever, whatever code is designed to do, whatever function is designed to it, um, is designed to do, it does it for you. Let's say you just want to buy a particular currency at a particular um, indicator, maybe the crossover moving average or whatever, whatever function you put there, then you 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 create a robot to to you know to to, to do that and then. So right now, forex traders have to log into their trading platform on their laptops. Also have a VPS running so that their platform can run 24/7, and you know they have to pay forty dollars a month to those VPS companies. With PipDroid cloud service, you just do that all on your mobile app. You know, so you download PipDroid and you log in and you start launching your robots. Gotcha. Uh, let, let's let's. Uh... I'm so, I'm so now you're put you're bringing in the forex market into this. Uh, yes. Yeah. So you, you went you went from products. I mean, it's it's a little confusing. Yeah, you know, just think of it as as, as a kind of Google. You know, so like PeepDroid is one product, which which the one we have right now is for forex people. We're gonna have one for the crypto. All right. Market. So so PeepDroid, how does that relate to Crosscoin? Yeah, so you know, okay, so Crosscoin is just a general term. It's just the name of the project. Crosscoin is a development project. We develop products that that will disrupt different industries. You know, so uh, Crosscoin so, is so, the name of, yeah. So it's not actually a coin. Yeah, so it's it's a coin. You know, it's ready right now in the wave decks, but the coin as a, as a coin, Crosscoin as a coin. Is going to be the medium of exchange for payments on those products to use those products okay let, let's stick to the products so let's let's keep oh. the pip droid aside for now and the forex stuff uh oh. so what so what kind of products are, are i i know i asked it before but i want like specifics what can i buy with crosscoin so with crosscoin right now i mean Right now, you can't buy anything with Crosscoin on this. So, right, okay, so there, there are things going on right now in the background. Right, first of all, with, with, the, with the products we're making, you'll be able to pay for the service with Crosscoin very soon. Then, my friend just created um, um, the first online shop in Africa um, that's going to be using Bitcoin. So, it's going to add Crosscoin to, to uh, a means of payment. On that side, so cross is going to be used to pay for goods and services on the, on that side. In, what in are, what are, what do they sell on that side? They sell um it's, it's called shopnow.ng, I think yeah. 
So, they, you know, they sell many things. So, well, maybe um, last time I was there, they, they were just about to launch. But I'm going to visit the site very soon. But, but, you know, they sell stuff that can be bought and so maybe tech products and maybe um, some other kind of stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to come hey, The reason why I ask is I buy, yeah. I buy things on purse that I owe with Bitcoin all the time. Anything yes. on Amazon could be bought on purse that I owe. So I, I really don't have no need to go anywhere else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you, you see, know, so, so what, yeah, so what makes that, yeah, you, so you would have to sell something more proprietary that's not on Amazon, you know, something, you know, that you could, you could only get from, you know, your website sales. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, like Proscoin as a currency is a medium of exchange, just like many coins out there who, you know, you know, they are just cryptocurrencies. They're not actually any asset token, they're just cryptocurrencies and they have their own community where they trade, where they exchange the currency as a medium of exchange. So Crosscoin as a currency is going to do just that. So you, so we're going to have partners, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, we're developing partners, I mean, we're developing partnerships with, with several, you know, you know, stores, online stores to accept Crosscoin as a medium of payment. And we're going to also have a merchant store itself where people can buy and sell and Cross can be used to transact those those deals, those trades. You know, then on the product side of development of cross of I mean of the projects that under Crosscoin name, Cross can be used as a medium of payment to use those products. You understand? So okay, is a medium of exchange. Just that we are developing products. Right. Well, every coin, every yes. every every crypto is a medium of exchange. Exactly. At, yeah. At yeah. Whatever price they're at. So. It, it's really okay so, so let's yeah. uh let's get to uh you see, you mentioned the community where where's your community so we have a slack community um you can you know i think uh cross point or slack um, i think so we have a slack community we are almost 287 people i think there and uh, our largest community is on facebook we are about a thousand and one hundred and seventeen there on Facebook, so those are two major communities. And um, very soon, I'll, I'll, I'll ask those on Facebook to come on the Slack. That's when 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 Reborn is released, they will all come on the Slack so that we we have equal numbers of both Facebook and Slack. You know, okay. but, yeah. I said su I suggest getting a you know a Slack uh, up and running as soon as possible. Community is very important, uh, yeah. just in the investor's mind, such as mine. Uh, Twitter is okay. Uh, it's not, it's not great because you could buy, you, there's, there's tons of places online. You could buy people to follow you on all these social media platforms. So people, what, yeah. what investors want to see is they want to see like a telegram or a Slack or discord, you know, with tons of people in yeah. it. So, you know, they know that there's a lot of people following this project. So, you know, you want to get exactly. that up as soon as possible, you know, so people could start yeah. following you, exactly. asking questions. Yes, that's right. So right now on Slack we have about two hundred eighty-six people. It just, I mean, it's still it's a you know, small number of people. But the thing is that we want the product to to go in front of us. We just we don't just want to be hyping about stuff, you know, that you know that that, is, that isn't there yet. So we're not a hype, you know, you know, a hype company. We just want the products to speak for us. Like Reborn is going to be an outstanding product. Pop Droid is an outstanding product. We want the users of those products to be on the Slack, and then we have a real community, you know. So, so when Reborn is released, I'm telling you, because that's actually going to be the first messaging app by an African person, you know. So, I expect a lot of people to use it from Nigeria, from all over the world, from in you know, Africa, from here too, and from everywhere, because it's, it's it's a messaging app. But it just has other components that you won't find in other messaging apps, you know. So. Those are the kind of products we make, products that will actually be different and we actually solve more problems than than the conventional apps out there, you know. Gotcha. Uh, let's, uh, let's let's get to transparency in your ICO. What What is your ICO going to be like? How is it structured? Is there going to be phases? Yeah, so that's, that's one um, aspect that we are in a post mode for now. Because we we actually started a pre ICO uh, on July 18, and we had to suspend it on July 25, just after the 
SEC released the report on virtual currencies. So we are we are actually right now we are non ICO talking right now. So we are not going to release any ICO information or any ICO news out there. We just want to see a compliant a framework from the SEC. That if you want to be an ICO and you're a company in the US, this is how you go about it. These are the rules. So very soon we'll actually um, have, you know get 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 a lawyer to to, to organize the structure, you know more perfectly. But right now ICO, we are not an ICO right now, and right now. I'm just I have, I have some friends that are planning to buy crosscoin on the decks and you know you know help us get some cash to finish our projects so that's our doing right now then we just with the cash we raise we'll get a lawyer to consult and find out how we can you know structure going forward but i'm also looking at other projects who are close to you know finishing up their white paper and completing uh, their structure like monkey capital is Structuring themselves again, so I want to see how they do that to comply with Singapore um, financial regulatory body, and you know that's that's going to be similar to SEC too. So I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at a description of uh, Crosscoin at the moment. It yeah. says innovative, collaborative messaging, media, gaming, gifting, gifting products in the works. What's what's the gaming about? Good. I, I'm I'm so happy you asked that. So the gaming, the gaming. The gaming product is going to be a product that combines um, virtual gaming with real-time charity. So instead of you having um, that, let's say you're playing um, what kind of game? Can I use an example? Uh, uh, so let's say you're playing any kind of war game, and you know you have in that game you have tokens in the game you can use to advance to the next level. You know, so instead of just you know you you know things that actually waste time like you have you know because they can be very addictive right? so we just want to have quality gaming experience whereby instead of you using a particular game token in game token to advance to the next level it actually be tied to real-time charity so let's say you need maybe a new firepower and you need to get maybe ten thousand coins right now those ten thousand coins are going to actually represent charity work you did in the real world so it's going to be like ten thousand. you can maybe i mean it might be ten thousand plates of food maybe ten thousand kids maybe ten thousand uniforms ten thousand books you know so it's going to be something you actually completed in the real world, and that will serve as your in-game working yeah i if, if you would allow me a suggestion here uh you have a lot of ideas in crosscoin a yeah. lot of a lot of different i mean from the beginning of the show we've heard forex we've heard a pip droid we've heard now gaming and now i'm seeing church what, what's this church stuff about okay so so the church part of the cross coin first of all when i say we are church centric it just means that we're going to involve the church community to the to this new blockchain revolution so um it just means that I'm a church guy. I have hours. I've, I've been in church all my life, so I'm just going to have a campaign to, to, you know, to educate people about the cryptocurrency, the blockchain world, and also there are some big churches that are, doing, that are doing a lot of good stuff around the world. We can see how they can, and they also sell digital products too. They sell their products. They sell, you know, maybe their messages or whatever they do, you know, in digital format. So, like my church, Christ Mercy, we have. We are one of the most, um, uh, you know, tech, tech savvy churches in the world. So um, we have a lot of digital. We have our own social media called um, Ucos. We have our own messaging app called Kings Chat. So we have a lot of stuff in the tech world already. So I'm trying to see how we can, you know, have them be on the blockchain also. So that's okay. just what it means. Yeah. Is this, time, if, yeah. With all these projects. Can you yes. can you give me a clear vision as to what Crosscoin solves in the community? What problems does it solve? Good. So Crosscoin is many things to many people. Crosscoin is is it just like we say make good happen, you know. So we're going to make charity, you know, contributions more easier, simpler. We're going to improve communication, like with Ribbon. Is going to Ribbon has a translation um, functionality to it, so. You can actually translate incoming messages to whatever language, I mean, 
you know, we're using the Google Translate API for that. And also it's going to use um, Google Map to for the gifting service. So you can choose to say, okay, I'm, I'm sending you some money, but you can only access this money when you get to a Starbucks at so so and so address. So you can use that to gift a couple some, you know, a dinner. You can use that to gift your friends, you know, restaurant treats, you know. So it just, so CrossCoin is just something that makes, you know, life interesting, that makes, you know, things fun, makes communication, makes giving, makes gaming interesting. So it just, it just the difference, it just the, the extra I, uh, experience. I yeah, mean, I, everything I, we touch. I, I think Waves has something like this already. Isn't it called Incent? You know, for for this, isn't it this relatively uh, this game? Will, will you be competition with Incent? Um, I I don't. I mean, I don't know. The only thing I know about Incent is about their block swap, their block swap um service. Um, I haven't looked into Incent more than that. So I mean, they they have a rewards program that you know you could use for for buying and selling things. I mean, it's kind of the same idea. You should check it out because okay, that's going to okay. be your competition if you're going to do the same thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's. So, you, you're going to use the Waves blockchain. Uh, Crosscoin is kind of making my head spin a little bit because you have so many different ideas. Exactly. Uh, so, yeah. can, can I suggest that you focus on one thing and one thing only and get that done? I mean, core group, uh, I don't, core media, core group. Uh, we're, we are also on the Waves blockchain. We, did, we didn't do no ICO because we yeah. don't need an ICO. We get we get sales all the time, packages. We actually make an income from Core Group. So when investing in, in Core, you know, Core Coin, uh, our our coin, Core Group, it, we actually have a profit already coming in. You know, so people are gonna benefit from investing in our coin. See now, your mm -hmm. co uh, coins out there right now are just giving ideas. Right? You you sound like you're in very early stage with just an idea with a bunch of ideas. Uh, I mean, is there a white paper that people could could look at to get a better idea? Because oh yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. So I'll see. We're just we're just a little bit more than an idea right now. We have a white paper out there. Our site is crosscoin.io, um, and uh, and we have a white paper. Where, you know, we will mention about reborn. I will mention you know the division and and how what crosscoin is all about. So, but I'm going to have to talk to you about how you operate as a non ICO. Um, so that I can glean some information from that. Um, so it was um, important aspect for the project. But, well, it, it's it's yeah, it's, yeah. It's, but right now, Pip Droid is Pip Droid is not Pip Droid is I mean Pip Droid is on my phone. Uh, okay. APK on my phone. I use Pip Droid to launch my robots, my Meta Twitter Five. We just adding. I just told the developer to to do some little changes to the uh, user interface so it makes things easier. And that's what he's doing right now. In a few okay, days, so we'll Pip Droid is. is so Pip, yeah. Pip Droid is your MVP, and uh, right. okay. So and, yes. and can where can people go to try it out and take a look at it if yeah, they're investing? So, yeah, so Pip Droid is a cloud service, so that means we offer dig space, we offer a lot of stuff to, to traders so that they don't have to go and get those themselves or log in or use their laptop all the time. So um, right now, Pip Droid is going to have just fifteen testers to test it out for you know two weeks, three weeks. We have some people who want to fund the project through buying our coin and they're going to be testing the product as well so after that then we'll then determine the the next scale how how how, how we're going to scale this to many more users using this you know and also reborn is, is being developed right now right now so every what, what every, is reborn what is reborn yeah reborn is the messaging app reborn is the messaging app ah. and also a gifting app and also um that has the business tool inside it as well so ribbon is a messaging app people okay. between you know cloud service yeah uh, how do you plan on marketing this this project and educating people because you know it, it's actually taking me quite a while to understand it and i'm a yeah, very crypto yeah. technical guy yeah we haven't really we haven't really done anything of you know making noise about it right now because we want the product to be ready we want to you know get get our structure also sound so that it's compliant also, but um, there are a lot of interest right now in 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 in, get, in funding the projects that we have. Lots of big interest to the tune of half a million dollars right now. So, so we want to get the product, 
you know get the testing phase going on finished and then expand the user you know get to the next skill and then get reborn develop to perfect and then we'll start marketing because people are going to use these products and they want to use them so then we'll start marketing and educating people about it and you know we'll, we'll market in a very very wonderful way we have we we'll a lot of videos to talk about course going and talk about these products and you i mean then you you hear about us more often we'll be on gotcha. every blog every tech blog yeah okay, the trend now now as far as funding what kind of funding are you looking for and what is the transparency in the funding are we going to be able to see the funding and where what's being bought and sold oh yeah so so it depends so the, the transparency of the funding is going to be depending on the structure of crosscoin if we remain in non-ico then the funding will, re will resemble the structure of a non-ico because we didn't actually ask people we didn't actually do a crowd sale somebody just bought our coin and we use the money to develop the products and people are using the products are using cross coin to pay for the products so there's going to be some demand of the coin so that's how it's going to work but it depends on the structure we will make sure the funding i mean the transparency matches the structure of the of the of, of the project you know so that's what we're waiting for waiting for the, the structure of the project to be formed which i'm waiting for monkey capital to finish their job let me see how they look like I'm going to okay. talk to you later on to see yeah let's uh let, let's let's get to uh so i've spoken to you about tangibility you have an app you, you have an mvp so it's something people yeah. could touch you have uh, right. you just spoke about your transparency you don't really have any marketing and education yet it's an early idea Knowledge and yeah. skills. Uh, we spoke about your team and your knowledge earlier. Uh, community yeah. and participation. You don't have one yet because you're still in an earlier idea. You said you're going to set one up eventually. Uh, and your niche and what you solve in the economy is a bit fuzzy, but you know, uh, still, it's an early idea and you're still trying to get it all together. Uh, so that that's that's the brief at the moment. Uh, now we have questions That's right. yeah. we have we have questions from the community are you open to take questions from the community definitely yeah okay yeah, no. uh so it, you know because that shows you have some balls of steel if you could take some of these questions you know i i only sure. do the standard <laughs> questions because you know they're investor questions that these are the categories i use for investing myself uh and also yeah. and you know I look at advisors, like, you know, do you have any any advisors? But, you know, aside from that, uh, let's get to the first question. Uh, why does CrossCoin attach itself as being church-centric when they are clearly business-oriented? All right. So that's, that's a valid question. Now, um, it's a new kind of um, look outlook on, 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 on the church because even in the church, their businesses, I mean, somebody who is, who is a musician in the church is going to get paid, right? Somebody who is doing the accounting for the church, somebody who is doing the music, somebody who is doing whatever function they're doing out there, the real estate guy, you know, whoever, I mean, people are getting paid right there. So, so when we say we're church-centric, we're not a church, we're not a religious coin. We are involving the church community through two ways. Number one, we're educating them, bringing them into the crypto community and it's going, to, it's going to help waves as well because that's my community i'm a church person my friends are in the church that's all i know about so i'm going to involve through education to our products so the first one is education and, and involving them to and also involving ministries to be on the blockchain we're going to figure out how, how they can be in the blockchain without breaking any laws right then the other part is through our products we're going to develop products that will make like Ribbon, for example, is a messaging app, is a gifting app, and has a business tool with it. So churches can use that to and groups, charity organizations, NGOs, different kind of teams can use that to create bonding and to have a better management of their people. You know, so these are products that churches, charity organizations, NGOs, and pretty much any other group of people can use it to generate you know some 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 you know some efficiency and productivity in what they do so that's what so we're not a church we're just you know a technological company that provides technical support and products to all this group of people and also to and on and and, and and also to educate them on the next you know the next world the new world the blockchain world 
So that's what well, that's what it's all about. Okay. Uh, speaking of NGOs, Komodo Coin is now becoming an NGO. So uh, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, they've been yeah. f- uh, for a long time. A lot of people say they're too dark. You know, they don't have too you know a representative. But now they're going to be a nonprofit organization. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they're actually yeah. so becoming very official. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. So, well, so Crosscoin is not a non-profit. Crosscoin is a business, Crosscoin is a project, a development company, but we are going to serve all these people. We're going to serve all that kind of space. Okay. Uh, well, you know, saying and doing are definitely two different things. Uh, we, yeah. we, will, we will definitely want to see it done, you know, because yes, people yes. could say anything at this point yes, in crypto. Right. Uh, why, why keep, so uh, the question number two, why keep attaching your name to Monkey Capital if it is clearly a scam? Okay, so that is that is a so that is a very subjective um, opinion, because um, um, I, I happen to understand finance uh, a lot, and I know there's such a thing as financial engineering, and I've been able to talk with Daniel several times, even we even talked today, and um, I've seen I actually told him clearly, okay, you know what, you change the white paper several times, you know, and if you're going to be in partnership, it's going to be on the contract that you cannot change the white paper, you know. So those are just early, like I said, every project. We're just gonna, we're gonna make mistakes, you know. So, so as long as they're willing to learn to change and to make evolve and and you know perfect all the processes, then then then, then they should be in the co- I mean, you know, they are clearly not a scam. Their community is very strong, very very positive, and very you know they're ready to move along and move ahead. So right now, there are a lot of changes going on over there. And if you visit their Slack, you can feel the energy, you can feel the intelligence and the ingenuity going on there. So they're not a scam. The guy, the guy Daniel is not. Is he, can, he can't afford to be a scam unless he really wants to, you know, you know, you know, you know destroy his family's name. So, gotcha. They, well, yeah. they, I, I, I personally, I've seen a lot of articles and tweet tweets about it. I mean, so I, I do understand where you know these people are why they're asking the question. But yeah, so so yeah, like you know, like like I mean, the only thing I blamed him was that okay, you change your white paper like three times. Which is not good, but also traders have to know that they are if they are buying anything, you shouldn't buy at a very high price. I mean, somebody something went from thirty-four dollars to one thousand two hundred dollars, and you bought at one thousand two hundred dollars. So you expect it to just keep going up? That's not going to happen. So people need to take in consideration the risk profile of anything they are putting their hands into. So you can't blame him. People punching the sell, the buy button by themselves, but you can blame him for changing the the information that was given to investors at the, at the onset and that's and he has accepted that and has changed that and right now he's using using um he's using a lot of constraint on his slack you know on what he's talking about and like right now they are designing a new white paper they are perfecting their model so he's not only in a way he's still there he's answering questions almost 24 hours a day he's there answering i'm like go and sleep you know so it's not a scam a scam it's not. I mean, it's come with take the money and run it, but you won't see him again, right? So he's still there. He's perfecting everything. He's, he's, and he's right now. Um, he's, he's going to, you know, put. He has put on, put out several papers concerning what he's doing. So let's let's give him a chance. Let's give him. Let's give them, you know, a chance to to do what they do, and maybe it's going to benefit the the whole blockchain world, you know. So are, are you? Uh, I have to ask. Are, are you personally invested in uh, in monkey capital at all? I, I I I own zero zero monkey zero cover. I own I own zero of all their tokens because I don't understand the process right now. When okay. when they perfect their model, I, I mean I read what they write, understand a little bit of it. But when they, when they when they when they have the model perfect, we might even be involved. You know, Crosscom might even be, be involved to you know you know to an extent. But when I see the model and it makes sense and you know then then I can see if I own only cover. But right now I own nothing. Okay. Uh, th- another question: How does he plan to accomplish all the cross-chain talk if atomic swaps are still being developed? Okay. So, uh, how does he plan to accomplish all the cross-chain talk if atomic swaps are still being developed? So that's why I said right now they are in a pause mode right now. So they're waiting for the full model to be released, and and then we know about. I don't even know what an atomic swap is, but. Um, when when they release the model and I can understand the simple English of it, then I can put my money into it. So, so right okay. now, yeah, yeah. 
All right, I hope that answers your question, people. Uh, do, uh, let's see here, the next one. Doesn't sound like there's a utility or blah, blah, blah. Uh, here, uh, if PipDroid cloud oh, yes. service, if PipDroid yes, okay. is a cloud service, how can I feel That's safe right. about data, storing my data? Exactly, so for the for the PipDroid from MetaTrader 5, when I use the PipDroid from MetaTrader 5, all I do is put in my trading information, login, password for the trading platform. Anyone who knows Forex is that you have two authentications. One is for trading. The other one is for your back office to make your withdrawals. But you don't use that on your MetaTrader platform. So what we are only, what you only, what we're only collecting from you, which we are, which, which you're going to put in there is your trading stuff. And we're going to have a disclosure on the app that you know what, we're going to, we're not going to mess up, mess up with you know, going and log into your trading platform and, and start clicking trades for you. No, you know, and we're going to have everything there. So you're going to be aware of your risk. You're going to be aware of, you know, how, how we're going to handle your information, but it's not as if we have access to your trading, to your withdrawal or to your back office it's just for your trading, you know? So now when we do the one for crypto, we'll get, we, we like me and my developer, we talk about it. We know that's something to address coming forward, you know, you know, very soon. And we're going to address it and we're going to, um, I think I, I let me stop you for a second. I yeah. think what he meant is, uh, you know, PipDroid in all its files and how it w works and where it's hosted. I mean, what, where is yes. that data stored? Is it Amazon web services? Cause there's, oh, you know, yes. oh, okay. Okay. I get it now. Yeah. So, yeah. So we, we actually, um, right now, you know, cause it, if it goes yeah. down, everyone loses their, their stuff. Right. So I think that's the security they're looking for. Oh, right. Actually for the PipDroid MetaTrader 5, if it goes down, nobody loses nothing because you, all we have is your trading login. You just lose your login and password. That's all you lose because you can still go to your mobile phone, to the mobile MT4 um, trading app, MT5 trading app, and log in again and do your trading. We have no access to your money. We have no access to anything. Okay, so it's local. Yeah. Everything stays local. Exactly. Everything stays local. And, and also the information we're getting from you is just trading, trading, trading logins, you know. Uh, what's the word for you now? Just trading credentials. That's all. Okay. Yeah. You, you know that that's one of the reasons why I love Agama. Uh, you know the Komodo wallet is because yeah. uh, you, they're gonna have a decentralized exchange, and yeah. all you know when you're trading on the Dex on Barter Dex, yeah. everything is local in your wallet. So even if something yes. breaks, everything is still on your computer. So it doesn't matter if exactly. it breaks. You still have yes. all the, you know, you hold all your keys and that's the main exactly. point of that. That's, that's, that's what we have to, we, why we have to get rid of centralized exchanges like Bittrex and, exactly. you know, eventually, yes. you know, it's going to be, the government's going to come down hard and, they, and they're going to, they're yeah. going to audit these centralized exchanges. They're going to, they, they could, they could probably militarize and stop them, you know, from doing what they're doing and we won't be seize able to trade money, anymore. So, money. right. And seize all, everything you got in there because they hold the keys and yeah. you don't. So yeah, that's very important exactly. to get that's these type of technologies out yes. there. I, I, uh, if, if you guys want to check out yes. Komodo and Agama, I mean, I'm very big on a, a Komodo and Agama. I'm, I'm all in there. I love it. Yeah. Uh, I'm waiting for the new yeah. Agama wallet to come out with the functions and barter decks. They're working on yeah. it daily. I mean that you could watch them in TradeBot's channel in yeah. in the SuperNet Slack, and they're working all day long, you know, implementing new coins inside the Agama wallet. It's really cool stuff. Uh, so let's uh, let's get to wow. another. I think there's only a couple more questions. Why is Crosscoin asking for donations at this point? And they and they link, uh, you know, a, yeah, so, a, a donate yeah, to project. So I see you. Yeah, so so we are non ICO and our funds have actually run out. We spent about thirteen thousand dollars right now from inception to now. So our funds have kind of run. But you know, like we said, we are thank God we are we we have an MVP, and we're pretty much able to release Reborn in his in you know in his first MVP. So we have a, we have a proof of concept and not just when we have a, an, an MVP, so that people can test and use. So. Like I said, we have several, you know, funding interests already. So, but we want the community to be part of it. You know, you can donate, just really donate to a coin market card, donate to PDF, donate to all kind of places. You can donate to Crossfriend Project and you're going to have um, some, you know, some some things to enjoy from that. Like you're going to be in a, in a VIP list and you're going to have, you know, 
um, one year free one year free subscription to our products. So you're going to be be on a particular list, and when and when we have those products, you're going to have your one year free subscription. You're going to have some souvenirs from us, you know. So you're just going to make you happy, and you know. So that's just what it is about, and nothing more than that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Me me personally, before I ask for donations, I w- I would probably. Uh, have a service to show, you know, like, so, you know, incentive, you need some incentive for people to, to do something like this, you know, like, like if it was a stripper service, I'm down and I, I donate right now, you know? Yeah. So, you know, it's just like how you have, um, um, crowdfunding services on, I mean, you know, um, crowdfunding on, uh, Kickstarter and, and all those kind of stuff. And they haven't, they don't even, I mean, those, those guys don't have a product yet, but they're asking you to, contribute and then you get some you know benefits from that that's a little different that's a little let me let me break it because that's a little different when when you donate on those things if if nothing happens you get your money back that's that's a whole different process okay okay yeah so so, you can't compare i'm I'm going to fine tune fine tune that donate process and you know and 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 get and make sure that that's a possibility to get your money back on yeah so but um i've pasted the, 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 the pictures of the app on waves on you know on uh, um on reddit on all kind of places so okay. it's a real product and actually so i mean I, i'm I, I, you know right now i can even take down take down the, um, the donation request and just wait for the testers to test it and we we'll go on from there you know? okay so yeah, no big deal, yeah okay no problem uh, uh, uh i think this is, might be the last question how many churches has crosscoin involved in blockchain already yes so um we Put out um, a, uh, a notice on on our Facebook community, and several charity organizations, orphanages, churches, NGOs, they they, um, they responded, and we told them we have your information. When Ribbon is released, we are going to tell you how to use Ribbon, how Ribbon can help you. So, so that's what is going to happen. Ribbon is going to be their first product that can help them do what they do better. And Ribbon is for everybody. Everybody, everybody can use Ribbon, but you know the bonding aspect of Ribbon, the real connection that Ribbon provides, is going to be you know beneficial, you know, to all these groups I mentioned. So, um, so yeah, when when we've, we've we've talked with some of them and we are just waiting for Ribbon to be out there, and then um, we we'll involve them big time. All right, very cool. Uh, it looks like we have another one. Uh, it looks like they keep coming in. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't want this to go over an hour, though. So we got another 10 minutes, and then you know we're going to have to cut this off. Uh, what kind of charities has CrossCoin donated to from funds raised during pre-ICO and current donations? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> on pre-ICO, we got like... What is this pre-ICO? Yeah, what, what is this yeah. pre-ICO? Yeah, so, you know, we, we, we actually uh, put out the pre-ICO on July 18, and it shut down on July 25. We suspended it indefinitely after the SEC, you know, said something about virtual currency. So, we are not an ICO coin right now. We are non-ICO project. How, right ma- how much did you raise in the pre-ICO? So, uh, we raised about uh, $800, I think, $800, and they all went to our developers to do their work. You know, 20, so, 20 bucks? No, $800, $800. Oh, $800. Yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a... It's, yeah, it's so still alive. Somebody got five hundred dollars from the Philippines, and somebody, you know, I'm gonna add all the others together, twenty dollars, and they all went to our developers who are holding us for 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 their payments and stuff like that. So right now, we're not we're not a, an, an ICO right now, and when we get funding through all kind of other ways, then we'll put keep cross coin in a structure that you know that can yes, you can look at us. Okay, yeah, you guys are good to go, and then we'll get going. So. You know, it's just like the SEC should have done all this, their talk, you know, months back. So we're just caught up in all this stuff right now. And we just want to tread carefully. We don't want to make any loss, you know. So. And how about donations? How much have you made in donations so far? No, no, no. Nobody made in donations so far. So, huh? um, <laughs> okay. so, right, <laughs> so, right, so what I'm going to do is that, um, um, so I'm, 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 I'm going to visit the donation uh, request that I put out there. And if I can't find, I mean, if there's a way for them to get their money back and that 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 aspect of it, then we'll continue with that. If it's a little bit fuzzy at the moment, then we'll just take it out and wait for our products to reach their testers and reach our 
our interest, you know, people that have interest in, in you know, giving to our project. All right. Uh, ince- you know, like, like I said, incentive is the key. You know, you yeah. got to offer also, some type of incentive. Yeah. You know, like- we're actually planning to be on Coin, on coin Market Cap and Cryptopia as well. You know, so so that's um, something that I want to do so that if people know about the coin. Oh, wow. You know, uh, yeah. Somebody said somebody donated 100 waves. to the. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't donate 100 waves. I mean, he was just making noise there, but um, I didn't see any 100 waves in any wallet. And the wallet, the wallet address I put out there, nothing like 100 waves. Not it was the same amount I had before. That, that's what was there. So, um, okay. much, I, yeah. And I had to All send right. the transaction ID. He didn't respond, so you know, he didn't say nothing. All right. Well, there's, there's something to be said, fellas. Uh, this is the judgment show. Uh, you be the judge. Uh, you heard all his answers. You heard what he said. Uh, it's I, I I did not instigate. I did not antagonize. I I, I kept my, money. Up, I keep my opinions to myself on this type of a show because this is a judgment yeah. show. But there is one thing to say. He has balls of steel for coming on. So he that's that takes a lot of guts to come on to the show, especially with all this talk out there. So good job. You know it shows that. Thank you so much. And also, also, I, I want to say on the side, a little opinion. Uh, he's, a, he's a church-going guy, so you know most church-going guys don't plan to rip people off, and that's just my my personal thing. So, uh, exactly, you know, yeah. so so come I mean, on, so so yeah. take a look at at the projects. Me personally, to you, uh, Fosky, I suggest sticking yeah. to one idea and follow through on that one idea because you you sound like you have a lot of ideas. And you you gotta you, you gotta yes, just get so one yes and and make it yeah, work yeah definitely yeah so uh one one is gonna be too slow for me I'm gonna get two and make it work so that's why I have two developers one is facing Reborn the other is facing people so I mean don't, don't even tell people about it until it's working until really it's, you know so so like the church idea you know yeah. make make that church idea happen even if it's one church on the blockchain that's oh, working yeah. with the blockchain that's it you yeah. you, you have a working product and you, yeah, and that's what exactly. you need people want to invest in a working product core group yeah. right now if you to, if you go to coregroup.info we have a working yeah. product we have people ordering packages every day it's it's nuts mm. i mean i can't keep up but I, honestly i don't have time for these shows but i do it mm. because i love sasha that much so yeah. uh yeah, so I'm, I'm 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 gonna get in touch with you after this, so I can look into into your project and you know, you know, learn some few things from there, the structure and everything. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, everybody, thank you for coming. And Fosky, thank you for coming on the show. I really appreciate having you. You're and uh, and I, I like I said, there's a lot to say. The fact that you you did the show, uh, yes. a lot of, a lot of people yeah. don't do it, and it, it showed. It makes no sense because this is marketing for free, so you you might as well take advantage Hello. of it. I charge two fifty for for a show most of the time, and that's not for the show. That's for Hello. my time. Are you having trouble hearing me? I think I lost you there. Oh, that's all right. Uh, so we, we're done with the show. That's all right. Uh, it's, all right, guys. So you Hello. know, if you see any other ICOs out there, and uh, you know that you you want to get the low down, the ski low, tell them to come on the show. Uh, I'm doing it for free. All right, fellas, uh, this is the Judgment Show. Enjoy, and uh, have a great day. I'm going to post this tonight uh, as, as soon as I finish editing all the static in the background. All right, fellas, thanks for joining. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. This is Luch signing out. Supernet aims to give people their power back through technology by no longer needing to rely on third parties such as exchanges, banks, and services giving you privacy at the same time. Supernet Technologies is the most anonymous technology being worked on currently, with a team of developers working diligently daily. Supernet aspires to be a creative, innovative, state-of-the-art solutions provider, which provides individuals opportunity, personal satisfaction and value. You can find out more at www.supernet.org and join our Slack with over 2,500 people.